What's up, y'all? It's Coach Suho with Greater Richmond Fit for Kids, and I'm here to talk to you today about complete sentences. It's important you use complete sentences. If you don't use complete sentences, people... Exactly. So what makes up a complete sentence, you might be asking yourself? Well, that's simple. There's two parts. One, a subject, and a verb or an action. So basically what that means is, if you have a subject, a person, place, or thing, and a verb or an action, then you got yourself a complete sentence. Let's look at a couple of examples. Let's use a subject like a fish. So the fish is our subject, but in order for us to have a complete sentence, we also need to have that fish do an action. Let me see what the fish wants to do. All right, the fish swims. That would be a complete sentence. However, if we just said the fish, or if we just said swims, then we don't have a complete sentence. Make sense? Let's try another example. Let's use the subject Dan Marino. So my good friend Dan Marino here is our subject. He's a person. Well, I guess in this case, he's a tiny action figure. But if Dan Marino is our subject, we just need to give him a verb to do. Dan Marino is a quarterback. I bet the best verb for him would be to dance. Dan Marino dances. Sweet moves, Dan. That's a complete sentence. We have our subject. Dan Marino, and we have the verb or action dance. So what we're going to do in today's activity is I am going to lead you through some sentences or incomplete sentences. You have to decide which is which. Once you've decided if a sentence is complete or not, you're going to do a certain exercise. Before we get started, though, make sure you have some good space to move in. We definitely want you to be safe while you're doing this activity. Ready? All right, let's go. Ah, uh, yes, we've made it over into the activity. So what you're going to do is you're going to think about the sentence that I read out loud. If it's an incomplete sentence, just start doing toe touches. If it's a complete sentence, just go ahead and sky reach. It's really that simple. Let's take a look at the first one. The dog ran fast. Is that incomplete? Toe touch. Or is it complete? Sky reach. Hmm. If I look closely, it looks like you are sky reaching. I hope you were sky reaching. You were sky reaching, right? Awesome. You're correct. The dog ran fast is a complete sentence. That's why you're sky reaching. I hope you're still sky reaching. Cool. All right, let's move on. His cat. Now it has a capital letter. It has a period. But does that make it a sentence? Does it have a subject and a verb? Uh, you should be toe touching. That's an incomplete sentence. Good job for those of you that were toe touching. Sat around. Don't be tricked by the capital letter and period. Sometimes I throw those in there to throw you off because this is incomplete. You should have been toe touching again. One time, Jim. Vicky, Trevor, and Scott. Hmm. I hope you're already moving. And if you're toe touching, you're right again. This is an incomplete sentence. Just because it has a lot of words doesn't make it a sentence. Kingston stretched. Huh. This is only two words. But it has a subject. Kingston. It has an action. He stretched. That means it's a complete sentence. I hope you were sky reaching. Good job for those of you that were. You saw the alpaca. Hmm. Alpaca. You saw the alpaca. Hey, sky reachers. You're right. That's a complete sentence. Ooh. It is time to rest easy. While we're resting, go ahead and stretch your back or stretch your chest. 
or stretch your back and then stretch your chest or stretch your chest and then stretch your back. Either way, stretch. Oh, what a stretch. Okay, let's get back into it. Salmon swim upstream. Hmm. It looks like it has an action. We we had a fish in our example, and that fish swam. That means it's a complete sentence. You should be sky reaching. The chicken clucked. Wait, nope. That was a click. That wasn't a cluck. Anyways, the chicken clucked. That to me sounds like a complete sentence because it is a complete sentence. Sky reach away. Ran and ran and ran until... I feel like there needs to be more here. Because there does. It's an incomplete sentence. You should be toe-touching. Lettuce grows quickly. Lettuce grows quickly. I hope that you are reaching up towards the sky because that's a complete sentence, y'all. He crumpled the old map. Well, first, I wonder what's on that map. Maybe there's treasure or something cool. Um, but anyways, let's get back to that. He crumpled the old map. Is that incomplete or complete? If I could look through this screen, I hope I would see you doing sky reaches because that's a complete sentence. It has a subject, he, and it has a verb or an action, crumpled. It just so happens he crumpled the old map, which probably is a treasure map. And he's probably missing out on a ton of treasure. Anyways, let's see what else we got. I am tired. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. But if you're tired, it says who, and it says what they did. I am tired is a complete sentence. You should be sky reaching. If you're tired, well, luckily, we get a rest here. Not only a rest, but we're going to end our activity with a few deep breaths. So while you do your breath in, you can stretch your back or you can stretch your chest. Your choice. And we're going to hold it, and then we're going to breathe out. It's going to sound something like this. Breathe in and stretch. Hold. Hold. And breathe out. Let's try that one more time. Breathe in and stretch. Hold it. Oh, something's popping. Hold. Breathe out. Ah. Hopefully you're nice and relaxed. Thanks for moving with me today. And hopefully, I hope you can tell the difference between an incomplete sentence and a complete sentence. Have a great one, y'all. See you soon.